Good evening, and we begin on the weather front. Mudslides and road washouts have resulted from all this rain this weekend, leaving people stranded. But we begin in Courtney. That city dodged a major bullet this morning as rising waters came to within about 10 centimeters of flooding. Dean Stoltz reports. It was predicted that a combination of factors would lead to significant flooding in lower parts of Courtney along the Courtney River. And early on, it doesn't look good. The river as it bends around Lewis Park is about as high as it can get without overflowing its banks. In fact, the city had issued a flood alert primarily for an industrial area and many businesses had sandbagged their doors in preparation on Saturday. But at high tide, 744 Sunday morning, the water is just shy of 2.8 meters in the Courtney River at 5th Street and holds just centimeters from flooding. Probably the biggest uh, contributing factor to that is the wind fell away. Uh, the forecast that we had late uh, yesterday afternoon going into the evening was for uh, uh, very high uh, southeasterly winds coming in. That would have produced a storm surge up the Courtney River and combined with an extreme high tide, heavy rains and warm temperatures melting snow in the mountains, the perfect scenario for a big flood seemed to be in the making but even the rain held off at the right time. The combination of things, it just, we peaked, but we didn't uh, get into trouble. The high tide did fill Lewis Park with water, but it soon drained away without any damage. Now there was one close call here in Maple Pool Campground along the Solom River. We arrived just in time to see this RV being quickly pulled out. The owner didn't want to comment on camera, but he'd been hitched up and ready to go if the campground was flooded. Lucky thing, because this big tree came out of the fast-flowing river, nearly slicing through his trailer. Others here had mixed feelings overnight as the water rose. Were you concerned or, or not about the flooding? Not at all. It's, it didn't rain all, hardly that much last night. The first thing I heard was how fast the water was flowing, how noisy it is. And then seeing it, it was scary. While the biggest threat seems to have passed, the city of Courtney is still advising the public that rain and high tides could produce localized flooding in low-lying areas through Wednesday.